hello my amazing people welcome back again to another video thank you all so much for tuning in in today's video stay tuned and keep watching so today we are going to prepare pumpkin this is a fryer baked pumpkin you can bake it in oven as well so first let me wash this then we'll cut it before we'll start cooking it all right let me wash it we are going to cut it this way this is not really big it's not a big pumpkin so i can cut it this way cut it this way cut it this way all right cut it this way cut it this way all right so this place is off you can remove the seed but let's bake it together with the seed so what i'm going to do now i'm going to sprinkle in a little salt here a little salt here okay so let's bake this let's bake it so i'm going to place it here then this other small one i'll place it here all right so inside the air fryer it goes right. after 10 minutes let's see oh my god it's getting ready it's getting ready so what i'm going to do now i'm going to reduce the temperature so that it will bake slowly so let me reduce this temperature now to 130 all right then let me increase the time to 30 minutes okay let's let's allow it that. so let's prepare the sauce let's cut the pepper and the onions this is bell pepper you can use fresh tomatoes all right so let's fry add my bell pepper and onions seasoning powder pepper this is pepper thyme 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 here curry powder so I have to stir So I have this tuna, this sachet tuna fish. So I'm going to add it here as well. You can use minced meat, you can use mackerel fish. Okay. 
All right, so our sauce is ready. It's ready. Our sauce is very much ready. So let's check out our pumpkin. Our pumpkin is ready as well. Look at that. Look at that. It's very ready. It's very ready. So let's cut it up. Let's cut it. This bake this baking is better, you know why? Because the nutrients are still intact. But when you boil it with water, it will leach out. See that? It's ready. You see? When you boil it with water, the nutrients will leach out. Unless you are cooking it porridge or maybe you are cooking you are blending it to soup. But if you are, if you want to boil it to eat it with sauce, I think it's better you bake it because everything will still be intact. But when you cook it with water and later drain out the water, some of the nutrients will leach out. I'm going to remove the seeds. I'm going to remove the seeds. I think it's better. It's better. It's better baking it with the seeds. You know. Because I did mean I removed the seeds, part of this place would have burnt. It's better baking it with the seed, you know. Because the seeds add some kind of protection to the skin. The heat will not go direct to the skin, just like this. So I'm going to divide it. Divide it like this. This is what we have. This is what we have. So, this is the sauce. So, this is the sauce. Moment of truth. Let's have a test. Let's see. I just like the texture of this you see I just like the texture you see you scoop some with your spoon and you combine it with the sauce you see that mmm very yummy mmm mmm this is light meal if you want to eat without adding weight, try this recipe. It's quite yummy. You must not use um, tuna fish for your sauce. You can use minced beef. You can use um, mackerel fish, just pieces it. So that is it for this video. I'm going to end it here. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you on my next video. Please don't forget to give this video a like, share and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell for more videos. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.